Hi, this is a quick video walkthrough of how to upload your content onto Process Arts, um, the content from the Learning and Teaching Day 2012. First thing you need to do is um, find Process Arts. There's a few ways of doing that. The easiest way is to Google it. I'll do a search and it should come up top. So this is Process Arts. There's a, another way of getting there, and that's via the My Arts Portal page. Uh, from the Staff Portal page, if you go to Quick Links, it's in Process Arts there. Our own page here, which is the UAL Learning and Teaching Day 2012 page, and hopefully this is where all the content will from the conference will be able to cluster together. Uh, there's also the possibility of being able to comment also on the posts that are on Process Arts. So the first thing you need to do is log in. So if you're a UAL a member of staff or a student, you can use your username and password in order to log in. Uh, if you're not, will you please email me and we'll, we'll arrange something. Um, so it's c.follows at arts.ac.uk. So I'm going to log in now. Okay, when you've logged in, uh, you'll be presented with your profile page. Ideally, uh, you can go and edit and add some information, add a thumbnail and add some personal information. And there's lots of other uh, tabs here in order to n in make the most of the, of the website like bookmarking and uh, sending messages uh, to other users on Process Arts. So to upload content, you go to create content up here. It's an agile project, so uh, the process also is developing and changing, so th some th things may change over time. So create content. There's uh, various different ways of uploading content. To just show you an example of a piece of content, uh, is one I've uploaded, which is a text and image post. So this shows uh, the slides of the presentation here. And it's also got the text here as well. There's also a link to a SlideShare presentation copy as well. So you don't have to include images. You could just include the text, and that would be a text-only post. There is also an option to attach your file as well so people can download the Word document or the PDF. So create content. So if we were to do a text only post, you would click text. Um, I always find it easier by having my Word document here and I can copy the information into the post. So the first section we've got here is title, so that's the title of your paper. Try and keep it not too long. Um, try and keep it short in this area because there's only a certain amount of room for that. This discipline area is just for you to locate it so people can find it. So there's, there's quite a lot in there at the moment and this is something we're working on in order to um, make this a lot easier. So for now, um, this is towards the bottom of this list. And if you click the UAL Learning and Teaching Day, it will go into that, that area. If you want to do additional discipline areas, um, for instance, if you wanted to include um, as a student interview, for instance, you can do multiple selections. I'm on a Mac, I'm using the command, I'm holding the command down in order to select uh, multiple 
selections like that or deselect. So I think on a PC you may need to hold the Alt key down, but if you if you do a, a little experiment with that, you'll you'll be able to work out what it is on your keyboard. So I'm just going to have it in the UAL the Learning and Teaching Day for now. Uh, you can also select the college. Um, so this was held at the London College of Fashion, so I'm going to select that. But obviously, if it's if you want to select your college, that's fine as well. Tags are really important. Um, you really want to put as many tags in as possible in order to help people find your uh, post. So so it will give you prompts and these are existing uh, tags already. So as many as possible in there and everyone um, separated by a comma. So description, again, you can type your content straight in or you can cut and paste from Word, which I prefer to do. So I'm going to select my text. I'm going to go to Edit and Copy. I'm going to go back. Okay, so there's a, you can um, copy um, paste straight into here. So on a Mac, I could Command-P or edit paste. If it's from Word, I would recommend that you use this little tool here which says paste from Word. And this will hopefully keep the formatting. So I'm going to paste in there and click insert. Um, it might look a little bit messy in there at the moment, Just, just just um, just leave it for now. So a thumbnail, this is if you would like to have, so, so when the posts are, list, uh, are listed on Process Arts, there'll be like a, a little thumbnail that you'll be able to give your post a little bit of identity. Otherwise it will just have a default thumbnail So this is quite a big image I'm applying as a thumbnail at the moment. So you can just have a, a tiny little little logo or something like that. Okay, so uh, attach files to this text. So I want to actually attach the original document as well. So I'm going to go and choose from the desktop the Word document. Click Choose. Uh, make sure you click List. So you can attach documents for your own personal um, reference without actually having them visible to the users. So this is uh, listed, so this means people will be able to download, view and download the documents that you upload. And you can upload multiple documents. So Creative Commons is, there's a whole section in the help section on Process Arts regarding uh, Creative Commons licensing. So this basically says what you would like uh, people to do if they come across your your content and they want to say use it or um, integrate it into a learning resource that they're doing this actually helps them understand what you would like them to do in regards to using it so if it's if you don't have any Creative Commons license it's normally a, um, a copyright license which means you can't really do much with it at all so I'm gonna say that actually um, anyone can use this but I'm going to choose the attribution license and I go to additional information and I'll put my name so what I'm saying is that if anyone uses this uh, they can and they can do what they want with it they can adapt it and integrate it into their resources but if they do use it just to attribute me and you can say what kind of work it is, if it's a, a, a list of images or some text. This is actually a bunch of text. And that's it, and you've pretty much created your post, so you hit save. And then you just want to review your post, make sure your, your text is looking okay, uh, which that is. If there's any problems with the text, you click edit, and you can go back in and edit your post and uh, make additions. Um, save again. 
you can see that this is uh, got shows me as the user. This is showing the section that it's in. So if I click on there, this takes us to the Learning and Teaching Day 2012 section. And you can see that the project's um, been posted here. And you click into it. The tags, so if I just go back, you'll see there's a tag cloud here. And this is showing, this is the importance of the tags. So if someone lands on the Learning and Teaching Day, they can jump into the tag cloud that's got all the associated content with that particular tag. So that's the text post. If we create content again to do an image in text post, that's this one. This time it's basically exactly the same as what we just did. This time, so a title. Let's do it quickly. And this time we're going to choose an image. So I'm going to choose from my slides. And I'll do slide one, choose, and upload. And you can see that's gone in there. I can give it a title. And I can then add another item. So I can keep adding slides. And so on, slide two. Again, select, I'll select the UAL Learning and Teaching Day. I can select the college, tags, text. I've pasted the text directly in this time without going via the paste from Word and we'll see. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not. You have to go back in and reformat the text. So that, that, that's up to you. Uh, choose file to attach if you wish. Again, Creative Commons license. I'll leave all that for now. Click save. And there you go. There's your image and text post. And the text is actually fine. Just cut and pasted straight in. Um, so there you go, that's all you need to know. And you can now navigate around the site, uh, view your content. If you want to comment on somebody else's content, you can just click on it, scroll down and it says add new comment. And you uh, type your comment in there, click save. Now that will automatically be posted to the site because you're logged in as a UAL user. And um, so the, there's, there's no need to um, monitor those uh, comments as you're a trusted member of staff or a student. Um, for those that are logged out and comment, uh, you'll have to wait for that comment to be moderated. So once you've finished, on Process Arts, just remember to log out up here. And there you go. Thank you very much.